let's talk about manifesting again. You know, um, I've had some amazing teachers in my life that have taught me all sorts of metaphysical secrets that I never could have discovered on my own. If you want to have a free session with me to maybe clear up something that you can't quite figure out on your own, because many times you need someone to take a look at your situation or just send you the right vibration in order to have that aha moment. I've had that happen to myself many times. So if you want a free session, go to the link below and, um, uh, you know, it comes with my course, the Mega Manifestation Method, which is an amazing course in that it teaches you about spiritual healing. Very few people understand how that works. It teaches you about how to manifest in all areas of life. And um, like I said, you'll get a free session with me. But I have been studying this metaphysical stuff forever. I'm just fascinated by it. And if you'd like to um, know what my favorite teachers are, I'm going to tell you right now. I started out with Gurdjieff many years ago, and he taught me how to watch my thoughts and remember myself and stand back and be an observer and get rid of that monkey brain that we all, mm, you know, fall victim to before we learn how to control our thoughts in a better way. They don't really teach this stuff in school, do they? I know I didn't learn anything when I was going to college or high school or <clears throat> church even wasn't teaching me what I needed to know about how to get a handle on our consciousness and understand that we have this amazing power within us that we can tap into. Mary Baker Eddy came along in the 1800s and discovered that lost element of healing how Jesus Healed. So I dug deeply into her writings. If you pick up her book, Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures, and you take a look at the scientific statement of being, it explains in this very concise little piece that the inner world, the spiritual dimension is the real and eternal. The material world is the unreal and temporal. We're only here for a short time on this planet. We're actually spiritual, immortal beings that just happen to be exploring life here on planet Earth. And we came here for a purpose, but um, we need to put the emphasis on our spiritual self, which has all the power and knows everything and knows why we came here and knows how to guide us and give us the right answers at the right time and lead us to the right things to do, the ways to manifest that we need to. Abundance is really about knowing that you will always have what you need when you, when you need it. It will show up. And if you're listening to your inner guidance, the God within you, it will show up and you'll get the right direction. I've had this male voice tell me a number of times in my life, to do something. And um, it was always right. When I did it, everything worked out. I wish I could conjure it up every day, but I, I, I get the feelings every day, but I don't get the actual voice telling me outright. I think it comes through when it knows I really need to hear it because I'm, I'm not listening. But, um, <clears throat> you know, Neville Goddard was another one who taught us over and over again in all of his books that your imagination is God within you. And when you assume the attitude of the wish fulfilled, just like Jesus telling us, ask as if you've already received. And he would thank the father within him before he had even implemented what it was he was doing, like healing someone. He would thank God before it even physically showed up in the material world because he knew when you have that gratitude and that acceptance and you're not pleading, but you're just accepting and surrendering and allowing what it is to show up, show up. It does. That's how it works. And it's kind of a mystery until you have the aha moment because 
everything in our five senses is telling us otherwise, that you have to rely on the input that you're getting from the outer world. It's actually the reverse. The inner world is controlling the outer world moment to moment. And things that you thought about maybe even years ago are creating and affecting things that are happening to you right now. So it's really important to pray, to meditate, to go within, to study the writings of the great mystics, and to understand that you are in the driver's seat once you understand how to do these things. So I suggest that you just start meditating. It's so easy. The truth is very simple. And that's one of the revelations I had when my heart chakra was just expanding and pulsating. At the same time that happened spontaneously, I went, oh my gosh, it's so simple. That's why we can't see it. God is within us. All you need to do is accept it and believe it and trust it. And you'll have some pretty amazing experiences.